That was right over here, right? Yeah. Can I bring this Blissey along, please? It ain't really doing anything. It's kind of just chilling there. The Shadow Incident. All right. How does the Purify Chamber work? Facility in which Shadow Pokemon undergo purification through contact with regular Pokemon. Purification is conducted on what we call a set. This is where a Shadow Pokemon comes into contact with regular Pokemon. Center of the set, one Shadow Pokemon is placed, up to four regular, blah, blah, blah. We have nine sets. We can efficiently purify up to nine Shadow Pokemon at the same time. It won't proceed if you place only a single Shadow Pokemon on a set. There must be at least one regular. I feel like this is just like overcomplicating whatever's happening here. The number of regular Pokemon placed with a Shadow Pokemon and their compatibility are key points. That's surprising me because I know a lot of people that quite like Delcaddy. Number of regular Pokemon. The more regular Pokemon you place, the quicker pure. Is this like a time based thing? Like, do I drop? It's like a daycare. Just say it's daycare for purifying. If you need details, I'll be happy to explain later. Step onto the circular plate. You're checking the hologram. You can zoom to individual sets. Uh, so I'm never going to use this, right? This is probably like way better for like 100% completion type stuff. Tempo purify. What the fuck? Okay. So this would be like, oh, like I want to purify this, but I don't want to actually use it. You know, I'm assuming. So we put that there. What the fuck am I doing right now? Do I have to put it in my party? Put Sveal in. Okay, let's do that. Or do I? Oh, okay, there's a special set one button. It's ready to open its heart. Okay, so let's put one regular Pokemon with it. All right. Tempo. I mean, I'm not going to put anything that I want to use in here, right? Like, I don't want to put my party Pokemon on here. Yes. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Do they want me to just put a bunch of shit on here, I guess? Okay, what if we... What if we go through and we do every little... Jesus. Well, yeah, but like why... If it's ready to go, why wouldn't I just go to the shrine? Dude, the controls in the menu of this game are really bad. <laughs> Set. So the problem is I was like going up and then when I pushed down, I don't know, it was being fucking weird. I guess this increases tempo based on compatibility and there's a flow bar. Like what the fuck is that? Well, I want to put all four. Let's see what happens. based on type effectiveness. Whoa. Why is... Ground... Ground Psychic is not good against bug or flying. But this bumps the bar up a fuck ton. I guess maybe it's just the fact that we're using so many Pokemon now? This is like, what is going on here? 
Okay, let's just put one more on. I'm assuming once we have the bar full, it'll probably be instant. Or no, we can't do one more. What? All right, can we make it any bigger? So normal types are fucking useless in this. All right, what if we do this? Can we... No. Okay, I guess because it was ready to open its heart, it, it automatically does it, maybe? So we didn't even need to set anything in there. This is like... I wish they would have made that clear. I wish when I put Sfeel on there, they were like, hey, its tempo is like 100% from the get-go. We got Aurora Beam. Charm. Level 18. And a Ribbon. Uh, we're not going to use Feel. How did you find... That was awful. That was the worst. I hated that. I guess we'll put something in here. Oh, so my guys are just still chilling. Well, that's kind of annoying. I wish it would have just stuck them back in my party. Now we have to manually do all this shit. What the fuck? All right. Set. Put that there, I guess. We'll leave that guy. We're not going to use him. Put this into the party. Go back to set. I wish they would have had like X or something be like a hotkey to... Well, at least X and Y are to move. I wish there was a button to go back to set. I guess B does it. Set it and forget it. Okay. I guess we'll... Let's put this guy in. His flow is low. There we go. That's a little bit better. So... No... So is it working now? <laughs> I'm assuming it's working right now. It... Oh, there's a glow. That must be good, I'm thinking. You know, they were trying to do something here and I just, I feel like it's just needlessly complicated. <laughs> Let me know if you want to use the Purify Chamber. I don't think I'm going to do that like ever again all right what's the next plot the plot point I'm not gonna talk to a little girl <laughs> very slowly the purified chamber it stirs up emotion damn you guys really really all waste your time huh <laughs> I'm sorry but you can access it from the PC Get busy some more with the snag machine. Oh my god, please no. <laughs> There's like three extra menus of like, here's how to do it. I'm like, I we're good. I'm just gonna do it the regular way and we'll be good. Alright. I'm assuming something happens when we Yeah, there we go. The data ROM. All right. He's the man in the room next to the director's office. Remember? Oh my God, Jovi. Go to bed, Jovi. Go to bed. All right. I don't know, was that something you used as a kid a lot? Like, did you use... 
I guess if, like I said, if you're going for all purification, you could like throw six Pokemon in there. What was it like up to nine or some shit like that? You could just throw a fuck ton of Pokemon in there and just like go play the game and then come back and they'd be purified. But I'm not going to purify everything. Yobi wonders where he went. <clears throat> I feel like even as a kid, I probably wouldn't have used that very much. Keck. He said Keck. He went downstairs earlier. Yo, this door is fucking me up. Alright, let's go. Where is this fucking guy? He hiding in my room? Digging through my clothes? Dude's just giving me the fucking run around. Jesus. <clears throat> hey. Where'd that guy go? Trudging outside the lab. I love how the lab didn't really look like it was abandoned. I guess maybe they cleaned it up, but... Really wasn't very convincing that it was abandoned. But I guess. So... Did we miss this guy? Was he like on the right side? Oh, we literally looked in every spot except for where he was. <laughs> Okay. Crane. He's just too cool. Joel. Deliver the data ROM. Oh, we're going to Pyrite Town. I wonder if that area is going to look any different at all. On, um, on buzz. It's so hard to pronounce. Right hand man to suck. Suck on buzz these nuts. Yay, more reuse content. Pirate is past agate. Quite far. Careful when you're traveling out that way. Oh, we have a exit of this area right here. We're a crappy little moped. Let's go. Oh, this music, though. Is this the same sweeping shot that they used in a uh, Coliseum? I feel like it might be the exact same, like, introductory camera work. That might be me bullshitting, but I think it might be. Goodbye, I guess. Gasp. All right. He's one busy girl. I'm Kale. He's the gatekeeper. Uh, let's check who we have out front. He detected how smoldering we were. I really want Butt Rope to evolve, so we're going to keep playing with Butt Rope. Rogue Kale. Rolled Snubble. Damn, they really, uh, they really, really front-loaded the, the unique content in this game. <laughs> I guess we'll do this. Signal Beam will probably take about two shots. Why are these guys level 16 now? Seems like they should be a little stronger. Because now I feel slightly over leveled. I don't know, man. But yeah, we had the lab, we had that one weird scientist's place, and then we had that one town. 
And I think that's the only new content. And it was all like shoveled into like the first 30 minutes of the game. <laughs> Missed, get fucked. I guess we'll signal beam the sea dog. The logic would have it that we should do that. Okay, so we are going to see more new stuff eventually. Little hound hour. Damn, all these are level 16. Come on, man. Dig's gonna be too slow to be worth doing. Don't really know why I did it. I guess to dodge a fire move if it's gonna come out. Too slow anyway, it doesn't even matter. Get fucked. <laughs> Let me guess, the last couple areas of the game are gonna be brand new. gonna be like the beginning and the end just to so that your first impression is oh this is a brand new game and then your last impression is yeah there was a lot of new content in there fortune telling this is just our like hint system isn't it I don't think we ever use that Fatine was considered pirate's mother foretold the appearance of Pokemon in the wild it's incredible. How the fuck this I feel like this like has like really weird. Like I feel like the writing is so bad in this. Like that guy's impl implies that I don't know. He implies that like wild Pokemon didn't exist. So like where did everyone get their Pokemon from? There's roughnecks around. Breeding. Well, then, where'd they get the first one to breed from? For all these species. It's nothing. I got lumps on my head from some shiny headed guy. Every Pokemon. They captured... Someone went out and captured one of every Pokemon in a different region because wild Pokemon didn't exist here. And then they brought them all over here and made a big breeding farm that you never see. Stand next to the big windmill. You can't miss it. <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't think they ever, like, addressed that there's no wild Pokemon in Colosseum. I think it was just kind of accepted that, like, that they existed and you just did never do any wild Pokemon fights. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't really need explaining. I, I feel like they're over-explaining to the point where, like, now it doesn't really make much sense. I don't know. Maybe I missed some dialogue. That, like makes everything make more sense same thing with like the oh pokeballs don't exist they're not sold anywhere hmm I shouldn't say it. they they exist but you can't buy them or get them but everyone has Pokemon and pokeballs Yes, we did. There are wild Pokemon out and about. Silva, the operating manager. Been engrossed in searching for wild Pokemon. All nine of them. Straight to the Coliseum registration. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I make poke snacks. All right, give me some rotten old lady. 
I want the wild Pokemon. Is this... This kid was in the first game, right? Is he aged up properly? Oh, you can control... What the fuck? You can control your movement in this game with the C-Stick. I don't know what prompted me to touch the C-Stick. Because this is supposed to be five years later. I don't remember either, but I know that kid was in it in the game to some extent, right? Children's rate. I'm no child. Like how how hard did they reuse the assets? Did they imply that this child didn't grow at all in five years? Because he's like a kid, right? I'm not misreading that entirely. He's not just a short person. All right. Let's see what else we got. A little capsule machine. Is that what this is? Poke poles? Oh, if it's free. What? Is this supposed to be like a joke? Of course you would. Anyone would make that mistake and accept. What if I say no? Red and white sticks? Is that supposed to be like a pun on, on Pokeball? Or is that like a real item? Oh, we're going to waste our time with the normal NPCs. See, otherwise I wouldn't have learned about Poke Poles. <laughs> I, I'm guessing it's just a joke. It was just very confusing. I thought they were supposed to sell me Pokeballs now. What the fuck? I guess it's that only we have to go back to that other town if we want them. I don't think we need to buy any quite yet, but... I was going to say, I also don't want to miss any battles here. I know they're not... We're not going to battle, like, inside the shops or anything, but... For sure, all the people in the town I want to check out. A hard... It's so hard-hitting, I can't even tell if it's a joke. That's how you know it's a good one. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll bite the spoink. Let's do that. Dig Magnemite. Hopefully that's a one shot. Ooh, nice. That gets really close to purification. We've been identified. Please don't murder me. Youch! Holy fuck! Alright. We're not going to be close to purification. <laughs> not quite yet. I guess we'll do Flam Bam. I always want to use Chetty, but he's our highest level so far. We'll chill on the Chetty train. Fucked. Let's see how much this dig does. It probably won't one shot. Got another Numel. I imagine for story reasons we probably won't. The Chetty Train. For story reasons, ooh, that is a one shot. We probably won't see like any Shadow Pokemon in like the Plaza here. I would imagine. I don't know, I still don't understand why we see Shadow Pokemon from anyone that isn't Cypher. <laughs> They're really not supposed to have that shit. We'll dig, but it's going to be too slow. We're going to finish it with two bites, I think. Yeah. Ooh, he flinched. Destroyed. Get out of there. I guess we're going back to the inn immediately. It's okay, we'll get the experience. 
I don't want to miss like check out the dual square maybe I don't know this game definitely doesn't seem super tight on the writing so maybe they were just like fuck it people have shadow Pokemon here for some reason even though the town's been cleaned up quite a bit heck yeah little Joel baby I gotta fill my other follower remote slots so this guy's probably not in, re in a reverse mode anymore, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate for us. Dude, that guy's huge. All right, let's see. Maybe there's maybe there's a shadow Pokemon or two. There was in Coliseum. Got Ledybug again. Yeah, we lost our reverse. Fuck. That would have been nice to to have. I don't want to do this, I guess. I guess we could bite. I'm really not afraid of the Ledibu. I think we'll just lay into Shup it. See what happens. Ooh, he does get one shot. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Oh my god, the rough skin. He's destroying himself. Doesn't deal a ton of damage, but... Alright, Rocky Helmet, rough skin. Yeah, these guys are all like weirdly low level. 16 is a little bit lower than what we have been fighting. I guess it's kind of balanced by them having more Pokemon. I guess we'll bop that and is bug resist bug is flying resist bug let's do this a different way there feel a little bit better about that dude I don't want to purify my carbon and this thing's putting some mad damage out but I guess we have to it's not gonna stay uh this level forever I'm gonna fall off eventually I also love how the enemy trainer is floating yeah just level 15 rest of the game all right call signal beam easy cleanup Now he should be ready to go. Poor little baby. That was really cute. It was like running away. Alright, what else we got? We're always waiting. 